Young son of play where we take it out Papi ta squeeze it, press it out If I your friend this a better take him out Cause any boy where we never make it out Viewers and subscribers, to them I want to talk about Massacre being disrespected once again after he made a comment about being the new king of dancehall. Black Rhino also exposed Massacre as a fake and also went live to show that he has the lyrical capability to finish off Massacre's career. Shaggy speak out after being accused of keeping 100 million from the children hospital and Futa Hype even had some words to say and me I tell the people Futa Hype go on bad. And last but not least, veteran artist Mr. Lex gets disrespected by a young producer. And me I tell the people, I one of the worst kind of disrespect you can get. Trust me. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is Massacre being disrespected again. So about a week ago or two weeks ago, I don't really remember. Massacre put up a, um, a thing basically a promoting party and he said the people they must come party with the new king of the dance hall. Now a lot of persons take offense to that and basically feel like he might take shots at Vibes Cartel. And Massacre even respond to that. Um, to persons bashing him. See, I'm soon showing you what Massacre say as well. But you know, Vibes Cartel have whole heap of fans where I go bash anybody who try go against the Gaza boss or allegedly go against the Gaza boss. Vibes Cartel boss a whole heap of artists. So a lot of artists are go pick it up on them head as well. Now, Black Rhino seem to be one of the artists them where this Massacre subliminally. Um, yeah, mother says subliminal is in. Um, and Black Rhino even went live and him even sure said, Boy, I'm ready for war if Massacre ready for war. You see me, I'm going to play some other live there so you can see it as well. Now, the way our Black Rhino this Massacre is in, he put up a picture with Vibes Cartel and one of his friend and that same friend eh, named Massacre is in. And you can see the picture up on the screen and something. In the caption for that, Black Rhino say, Rest in peace, Massacre. Your memories now be forgotten, youth. The only Massacre women know about bad boy any other massacre a p-u-s-s-y you see me so where my try to say this so the massacre where i run the place now are the genocide boss massacre it is a big p-u-s-s-y you understand what i say my people but i'm mean, not know still black rhino seem like him you know him head hot you know and him want a war between massacre and himself but will the genocide boss respond now as me say some people at this black rhino say him career dead and some people already did done a bash uh, massacre from them time so I'm going to show you what some of the people I say. So one person say, Rhino, you flap little boy. So don't try to flip dead boy with a dead career at the beating stick. And you don't know, say, it used to be rumored say Vibes Cartel used to beat um, Black Rhino. And that's why him did left the what, a Gaza or whatever. Him did left the whole camp, you see me? I remember Rhino did even do a song. So you know, say, people are going to find things in your file for disrespect you and for make you look like a clone. So this person here does a call Rhino a beating stick, you see me? And next person say, Black Rhino is a clash you a look. You know, see what go on with Kaleido. Lol, it look like you never listen Vibes Cartel when him say, now play wrong with fire one side till the landslide and what this person basically has said is black rhino if him not remember what massacre do to kaleido can I remember say massacre did kind of rub out kaleido well not kinda most people say him rub him out kaleido did even fire back some good song um but some people say massacre was the winner zine and this person here won black rhino and say yo remember what massacre do to kaleido career don't make him do it to you youth anyway and next person say black rhino you know you can't style the king of dance all massacre them way they you know if you ever make court had rise the machine them dead so you don't know where that person they are trying to say me they've never elaborate upon that no more um a next person say would be a nice war between black rhino versus massacre people who you think would have win and this is where we get interesting because even rhino comment so one person respond and say massacre would easily win <laughs> and next person say massacre would get better rhythm zine and a next person also say easily you are 10 or something you know rhino youth this person a different black rhino and i say yo Oh, massacre for win you must be a little 10 year old if you don't really understand what black rhino can do and black rhino respond to this person and said dog you feast in a f so you know say black rhino really respond to that one person for make him know say yo dog you know say you know where you are tabo because my levels massacre no dip on it in. that him basically and make them know zine because he only respond to that person and you don't know as me say rhino have him fun and me not tell a lie the clash would be interesting because as me say black Rhino is a good artist, people will know that, you see me? But in some way, he might fight for combat because 
it seemed like Black Rhino did miss it from the scene for a while and a lot of persons forget about him. And I now go around you if you want to know how bad Rhino is, go back and listen to my old time song. And yes, you got to have people that say, show them flow they done with and thing. But I want to tell you say, some of the flows them with some of the man them I use right now. A Rhino first start talk them way they, Rhino first start flow them way they. You understand what I say, people? Anyway, Black Rhino went live and he basically a show same ready for the war, you know, people. So I'm going to do a run piece of the video and you can see say Black Rhino charge up. He me even did comment on the whole massacre thing, the post where he make and basically I say, yo, the people them love the foolishness, you see me? And him just laugh it off. But check out that video here with Black Rhino, basically a show him lyrical potential. Yeah, man. Gangs are not playing when we take it out. Papita squeeze it, press it out. If I your friend this I better take him out Cause any boy where we they never make it out And when me clap it up, squeeze it, press it out And when me pop it up, squeeze it, press it BOOM! Young son no play where we take it out Man clap it and press it out Da! This son no crab in a barrel and no carrel Man of the barrel let me step in outside Catch the boy them we a clap it Ride up on a boy now in a the traffic And squeeze out, shot that a bait out Man no move till a boy Mario lake out And everything in a the matic belly sneeze too. You vomit up your rice and peas out Boy! Cause where we step you no make it out Da! Man breathes with the crime Them for no I'm crazy with the nine Bipolar with the matic when me catch them every time Sagittarius has saw me reckless with the sign Dog, shut up boss, shut up boss Speed car now gun, big and it man a Thanos Dog, you never say you can't boss up But any family we catch it a go Jafados Dog this a no crab in a barrel and no quarrel Man a the barrel and we step in outside yeah. Man a fee of this shop if a boy fee attack me na left road side Papita squeeze it one in a your face make you get it Rifle a kick kick it One in a your eh Aye aye Yeah people so Rhino look like him ready for the war Nah no, tell no lie Um but honestly Me don't think Masika got respond because Wally pa people this Masika and we him do him just ignore them and it just you understand Masika is an artist where if him not feel like you're ready for him him not go answer you you know what I say people especially at film stage you now where but I say him are one of the best in a dance hall right now top 5 Masika in a top 5 right about now so if him not answer black right now him not have nothing to lose because we already know say Masika is a bad artist, is a bad clash artist, and we see him clash with more than one artist already. And him, you understand him bad, you understand what I say, people. So I don't think Masika got respond. Black Rhino might have to do something else to get him attention, you see me? I don't know where he might have to do. Maybe he might have to make a diss song and also make it be a hit song as well. I don't really know, people. Leave it in the comment section and let me know if you would want to see this clash Masika versus Black Rhino, and also who you think would have win the clash here. But I mean, I know people, the two artists, them bad, you see it? Alright, people, so the next thing I want to touch upon real fast, you know, says Shaggy. Um, him kind of feel some way about this article where the Gleaner put out and basically say, yo, the children hospital. It's like them a cost Shaggy because them not get the hundred million when they promised them. You see what I say, people? And Shaggy feel some type of way and even me as a Jamaican feel some type of way for him. Because I realize something, you know, no matter how much things you do for somebody, once you know come through at a certain point, everything else where you do is like it get serious and I just a one bad thing that them focus on. And it's not even bad because Shaggy not do nothing bad yet the man come out and explain exactly where go on and we see a lot of persons are defending him me even hear richie feelings that talk about shaggy um daughter you understand she did cry because she see the whole article and it's sad for see a daughter cry and i say you know them are look pan as a thief out in the street or in the article or whatever you understand him daughter even come to him and say daddy rate it and shaggy have to explain it to him daughter and i mean i watch the interview with shaggy me never watch all night but i watch some night and you can see the sadness in him eyes you understand what i say people it kind of messed up how the children hospital come out and you know kind of mash up the man character and him also want the gleaner for how them a label thing like them tycling and thing kind of defame him character and i definitely have to agree with him shaggy is a man where you can see him definitely love kids and him love jamaica because he's a man who never try run away from jamaica yet always a give back shaggy not really need for thief a hundred million dollar because man know say shaggy is valued more than that some people are gonna say yo you never can tell ray tt shaggy no need for thief that people believe me anyway footer hype come now and him talk about it and the man vex 
Footer hype also I explain why him not give back to certain um, people in a Jamaica, you understand? Because when him do good, people don't want him to say what him do. Like if him do a donation to a certain company, um, the people them don't want him to talk about it. So him say him not in a that. And a lot of persons are different shaggy as well. So what I'm going to do is run the footer hype video and you can tell me where you think about this. So listen to my footer hype officer people. Me respect shaggy down to the ground where mark man. Yeah, up to the ceiling of the house where I'm living at. Now, me, I'm a very opinionated person and I speak how I see things. Zin, and I speak on how things affect me and my culture and my country. Zin? Alright. First things. The government of Jamaica needs to understand how powerful dance hall is. The government of Jamaica and the people, the powers that be, that makes these fucking rules where the country is concerned and how them deal with music, need to know that. It's not the army where Shaggy did in and make him rich. What made Shaggy rich is dance all music. Listen to me now. And nobody met nobody nice. Dance all music made Shaggy into a multi-millionaire. Okay? Now, Shaggy, from my knowledge, has been donating to the children's hospital, the Boston the Children's Hospital, for decades. See? For decades. I don't think we can calculate anybody else's donation to any cars in Jamaica that will surpass Shaggy's donation when him do. See? Am I wrong or right? You have people who donate, but nobody no surpass where Shaggy do. Anyway, I can say this. Not even corporate Jamaica can match up to what Shaggy donate to Jamaica and the children's hospital. See? Now, for dancer to contribute that much, because that's dancer, Shaggy now have no, no fame to riches other than music. Right? Our oh, Spangler's youth, Shaggy, from Dunga Town, yeah? And that makes Shaggy rich. So, dancer, see? has done the biggest donations via Shaggy. We don't talk about the rest of the artists they met in. We are talking about Shaggy. See? I am supposed to think that somebody like Shaggy is supposed to give be given the nation's respect. I think somebody like Shaggy should be pardoned where regular citizens are not pardoned. I don't think somebody like Shaggy should be treated like a regular citizen of Jamaica. Zin, nobody, no government entity, no police, no soldier, no tax office, no revenue board, nobody not to treat Shaggy like a normal citizen. I say that to say this. Shaggy was explaining why him should not keep that area and why it may be keep next year. Right? Now, when me I watch the video, I me hear the reason why the show never keep. Me feel aware. Me feel aware. Me feel aware. 
All right, so now you foot a hyper for say, and honestly, I feel it for Shaggy, you can tell say him not feel appreciated anymore. And it only take like a split of a second for make somebody feel away, you know. Zane after all of the things them where them do for you. And as Jamaicans and even the hospital them, they have to know how they have put out certain statements and you know defaming the artist's character. Because as me say, the man have a family, the man have kids, and the man have try to shield him kids from seeing certain things. Because see there, him daughter already a cry to him based on the things where she has see out there. And it's not a good look, people. Anyway, leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this old shaggy thing. The article we put out say, oh, shaggy na give him 100 million R. You know, them a try to make him look like a thief. Shaggy. Remember, say shaggy no need for thief that people. Man, I like, me really feel away. Anyway, leave in the comments and make me know, Zin. Alright people, so moving on to the final topic. Mr. Lex, veteran artist Mr. Lex, cause you know a long time them man they are DJ. Right about now, he's very upset at some of the producers them and boy I feel like same I get disrespected, isn't it? So I could jump in at the article. Mr. Lex instructed to flow more like the sixties, nineties DJ said he was offended by young producers' comment. Veteran dancehall artist Mr. Lex says a recent encounter with a young producer has left him even more disappointed in the direction today's music is headed. Last week the entertainer took to social media to reveal that after deciding to voice for a said producer while in the recording booth, he was instructed to alter his 90s flow to sound more like the 60s. He sent me a rhythm praising me and saying I was a bad artist and he would have loved to work with me. I listened to the rhythm and I liked it. So we set up a session and me decide for record for him. When me reach at the studio and in at the boat and I record on a flow in a my style, him stop me in at the middle of my flow. Jano, me not too feel the 90s flow there. You can't give me one of them nowadays flow there like the six them, Mr. Lex told the star. Appalled that the young professional was even harboring the thought and he even had the audacity to express it, the DJ said he left the boat indicating that he would come back but he has not returned since. He said it with such a straight effing face. Me never know if me for cuss, if me for feel bad, disappointed or what. So me just tell him say me soon forward. I guess by now him realize say me na come back. Me feel some type of way when him say so. Disrespected to say the least. How me for leave out a my style for go in a somebody else style. Mr. Lex inquired. Although he now believes the producer did not mean to disrespect him or his craft, the damage was already done. He wants other young producers to take heed as they could not only be damaging relationship but passing up on potential hits. Some days after the incident, him linked me and said, Jan me DJ, me never mean it that way they know. And give me an apology. But by this, me don't take offense to it. I guess in his defense, him in a the six them era, so I that him know I understand. Him did just have one thing set in his mind. So him totally could have passed up on a hit and not know it. Every time I go behind the mic, it's a potential hit. Me not record no song if me not feel it, he said. He continued, all me can say after this incident is young professional artists, producers who no do no homework were missing out on hit juggling and hit rhythms because everybody wants sound the same. Everybody have a one trap mind. Alright people, so what do you think about this? Man, I, go around you. I think it was very disrespectful where the producer tell Mr. Lex. But I understand say the producers them. I mean, but here, well, before me even say nothing, Mr. Lex said the producer say me rate him Zin. So how the producer would have tell him to change up him flow if him don't rate him from in the nineties? Cause he must have hear some old Mr. Lex and like them song there. So why would I want the artist forward in the boat and change up him flow? That no make no sense. But anyway, people, that is very disrespectful for a producer forward to you and I tell you for flow more like the six them. Is me like squash? Chronicler and Daddy One, them not like the old flow. And Mr. Lex is an artist from a read. Zane is an artist who used to run the place in the early what, 90s? Yeah. But that's the early, no, not early 90s. I think early 2000. What am I talking about? Mr. Lex did have some good songs. You see me? Full 100 and Galebeta can cook and all of them songs. You understand the message, people? So he's a bad artist in a theme time. But to all dancers stay now. Honestly, I don't think a lot of producers, new producers are gonna work with artists like Mr. Lex because them now nah feel them flow them. I tell you say things and times change, you know. And the other day me even talk about the whole um Afro beating a takeover. You know, because dancers are going in a certain direction right about now. 
So I don't know people, it seems like so them just now want to hear the 90s them dance all Because Bunty now record no bag of hit, Beanie Man now record no bag of hit You notice a one set of artists them right now, you hear over and over You now hear, when last you see one of the old school artists them have a big hit song I want somebody tell me, I must say Elephant Man are the only artist me say come out what day with a bad dancing song And mother say it's a hit song, and even that you know, it be a struggle for be a hit. You understand? Because a lot of persons still don't know the song because them too caught up in a listening to, um, you know, the new artists them then and certain type of flow. Them from them hear the old type of flow. It's like them just no one hear nothing with sound like that. And it's sad because I feel like so the 90s dancehall artists them, they know them they do a good job in maintaining themselves. But I don't know still. I think it's mainly producers to be blamed for all of this work going right about now. I not tell no lie. Because producers are the ones them who listen to all the artists sound when the artists in the booth and them for be real and tell them say yo, you know, we wanna do we not like and whatever. But then again, some artists have them producer friends, so you know how that guy ready people. At the end of the day still, nothing stays the same forever. And even this style where the six them I use, I guarantee you say in another few years from now is a different style I go come in and nobody now go want to hear that flow there. So Mr. Lex I figure either adapt to the new flow them or him just vice for the producers them who know how him go sound as him the old time producers them like all I don't know like all Scatterborel cause Scatterborel you know him believes that the 90s era are the best era and you know you have other producers Snow Cone and some other producers out there with us rate the old school artists them not necessarily more than the new school school artists them but them still have them respect you see me but people leave in the comments and tell me when you think about you know this whole situation here with mr lex getting disrespected by the producer telling him say yo change up your flow brother you need for flow like six them or six them around the place do you know me just imagine how i'm supposed to feel because if i didn't mean uh, me no know people that would have probably just you know that would have lick a nerve away and make me even uh, don't even feel like i want to use it no more but you know, Mr. Lex, you're a good artist. Don't give up. Just go on dating, is it? Anyway, people, leave in the comments and let me know when you think about this. And also, let me know when you think about this old Shaggy and the $100 million situation. And also, when you think about Black Rhino versus Massacre, you don't want to see that clash there or not. And also, people, don't forget to go follow me on Facebook. I'm going to put the link in the comment section. So just click the link, go over there and give me a support. Hey, what's going on? You know, my birthday celebration is 29, you know. Canada, Luxy, grab on the tickets, them. No, you know it going on. Party I keep in a Luxy, 29 of November. Image, style of getting every girl in the village. Rough up for it, tough up yard. 29 of November, birthday celebration. Make sure you come check it out. You know it, you will bring her one side to the landslide.